for logarithm function first of all as you know logarithm is the inverse of indices or exponential so before this you have learned that yeah in indices you can deal dengan horizontal asymptote jadi terbalik dia adalah vertical asymptote so untuk logarithm function you akan kena cari vertical asymptote ok untuk sketching graph ya first step ok is you cari nilai bila y0 for example fx equal to log x base b so log x base b equal to 0 you need to find the value of x x equal to b power of 0 x equal to 1 so when x equal to 1 the value of y is 0 that is the first step. Okay, the second step is you find the vertical asymptote. The vertical asymptote is just you take the function here. So VA stands for vertical asymptote. Yeah? So X is equal to 0. That is the vertical asymptote. When x, then you take the value of the vertical asymptote. You check. When x approaching to that vertical asymptote, what is the value of y? For this case, log e zero this value will be too small too small sampai kita boleh anggap dia sebagai negative infinity that's why they're approaching to negative infinity okay and then the third step is when x approaching positive infinity contohnya log b 1 million alright this one kalau you calculate dia akan jadi too big so fx approaching positive infinity understand only 3 steps now we go to the sketching graph. First step, plot the point. Okay. And then the second step, plot the vertical asymptote here. And then in the second step also as x approaching to zero here, right? Mm -hmm. The value of y will be approaching to negative infinity niti ke bawah ni. That's why dia tarik ke bawah. Dia takkan sentuh x0. Understand? And then bila ke kanan ini x approaching positive infinity, the value of y akan approaching to positive infinity. Naik ke atas. Do you understand? Alright, for the second case when the value of b is between 0 to 1. Okay? Now, we go to the first step. Same, yeah? When y equals to 0, you find the value of x. For this case, it's still the same. You can dapat, contohnya log x asas b equal to 0. So, x equals to b power of 0, which is still 1. Okay, and then the second step, when x approaching 0. Okay. How do you get x approaching 0? Because you find the vertical asymptote first. So what is the vertical asymptote? 
you just take the function so x equal to 0 so as x approaching that vertical asymptote you check here the value of fx okay for this case the special uh, bila b nilai b antara 0 sampai 1 bila you masukkan the 0 dia akan nilai fx dia akan makin membesar okay that's why fx approaching to positive infinity understand and then the third step when x approaching infinity the value of y will be approaching to negative infinity ok contohnya you ambil log 0.5 1 million uh, you calculate yourself dia akan jadi nilai dia terlalu kecil alright so dia akan pergi ke negative infinity Jadi kita boleh sketch graph First step When x equals to 1 here Point ya yeah. And then the second step is the vertical asymptote x equals to 0 Okay and then when x approaching to 0 Fx ke kiri ya yeah. Naik ke atas Okay and then when x approaching to Nenepot infinity Dia ke bawah macam ni Okay Do you understand everyone? Now we go to the sketching graph. First, tengok. First step tadi, when y equal to z, row. So, ln 2x minus 1 equal to 0. e power of 0 equals to 2x minus 1. Rearranging the function Dia akan dapat X equal to 1 E0 is 1 eh? Don't forget the Second step Find the vertical asymptote So the function is only 2X minus 1 So the vertical asymptote is X equal to Half VA VA is vertical asymptote eh? Then When X Approaching to half Okay Long To Half Minus One Dia akan dapat apa? Long Zero Betul tak? Alright Bila long zero you try tengok this value dia akan jadi terlalu kecil so fx dia will be approaching to negative infinity and then the last step is when x approaching positive infinity the value of fx will be Approaching positive infinity Terlalu besar Okay Cuba you masukkan Macam ini Yes Okay now lengkap 3 step Now we go to the Graph Right First is the point x equal to 1 around here one. and the vertical asymptote is x equal so half since the asymptote yeah yeah the garis putus putus okay now bila x approaching to half y dia negative infinity and then bila x approaching to Positivity Y dia akan Naik ke positif Infinity The third step Understand? So last kali 
dia tak minta domain and range tapi kita belajar je okay so for lawn atau logarithm the domain okay is by referring to the vertical asymptote tengok kiri atau kanan ke, uh, vertical asymptote tu sekarang ni untuk this case ada graph tak belah kanan kiri tiada jadi dia belah kanan jadi dia punya vertical asymptote dia half to positive infinity ok then range dia is from negative infinity to positive infinity faham y equals to negative long 2x minus 1 the first step when y equal to 0 so 0 equals to negative long 2x minus 1 long 2x minus 1 equal to 0 then e power of 0 equals to 2x minus 1 then 2x equals to 2x equals to 1 ok the second step finding the vertical asymptote to x minus 1 equal to 0 ok so x equals to 1 over 2 alright that is the vertical asymptote alright since ini dia tak boleh negatif ya dalam ini tak boleh negatif so dia greater than here ini pun greater than ah tu penerangan kenapa dia ke k nan alright then when x approaching to 1 over 2 fx akan approaching to positive infinity ok the third step when x approaching to positive infinity right fx will be approaching to negative infinity understand okay now we go to the sketching graph all right first step one here and then one over two the asymptote okay no sx approaching to half fx to positive infinity so like this and then sx approaching infinity like this understand so what is the domain open half to infinity what is the range negative infinity to positive infinity do you understand okay y equals to ln 1 minus 2x the first step is when y equal to 0 so ln 1 minus 2x equal to 0 find the value of x e0 1 minus 2x and you get 1 1 minus 2x 2x is equal to 0 x equals to 0 All right and then for the second step finding the vertical asymptote 1 minus 2x must always be greater than 0 sebab dalam ni tak boleh negative so you rearranging dapat macam ini and then you belajar chapter 2 dulu 
jadi macam ini ok then the vertical asymptote is x less than half bila x less than half you kena ambil when x approaching to half when x approaching to half ok the value here will be the value of fx here will be approaching to negative infinity you can calculate yourself Okay, now the last step, third step. When x approaching to negative infinity. Okay, sebab dia lebih kecil tadi di sini. Alright. Fx will be approaching to positive infinity. Jadi kita sketch the graph. Okay x equals to 0 here x equals to 1 over 2 ok so when x approaching to half fx to negative infinity when x approaching to negative infinity fx to positive infinity it's like that ok now the domain the domain uh, you look now the graph is on the left of half so there daripada negative infinity sorry so dia akan jadi daripada negative infinity sampai half understand and then the range will be negative infinity sampai infinity okay that's all